This video is about sentence patterns. English sentences has a lot of patterns, but we will only be focusing on four patterns, namely SV, SVDO, SVIODO, and SVSC, which are considered as the basic and most common patterns. The first one is the SV or the subject verb pattern. In this pattern, the subject comes first before the verb. Example, the students read. The students is our subject and our verb is read. Another, she cooks well. She is our subject. Cooks is our verb. Next is the subject verb direct object or the SVDO pattern. Remember, subject is the person or thing being talked about. Verb describes the action of the subject and direct object or DO answers the question what. Example, the students read a book. The students is our subject, the verb is read, and the direct object is a book. So, what does the students read? The answer is a book. The students read a book. Another example, she cooks pasta. She is our subject, cooks is our verb, and what does she cooks? So the answer is pasta. So pasta is our direct object. The third type is subject verb, indirect object, direct object, or SVIODO pattern. In this pattern, the IO is added. Indirect object answers the question for whom or to whom. Example, the tutor taught the students a lesson. The tutor is our subject. Thought is our verb. The students is our indirect object. Whom does the tutor thought a lesson? So, of course, the students. And a lesson is our direct object because it answers the question, what? What did the tutor thought to the students? Okay, the answer is a lesson. Another example, she shouted at him about recklessness. She is our subject. Shouted is our verb. At him is our indirect object. To whom did she shout? The answer is at him. And recklessness is our direct object. It answers the question, what did she shout about? She shouted about recklessness. The last type is the subject linking verb, subject complement, or SLVSC pattern. Linking verbs links the subject and the complement. These are is, are, was, were, am, and seems. On the other hand, Subject complement are words that describes the subject. They are called modifiers or adjectives. Example, Paolo is clever. Paolo is our subject. Is is our linking verb. And clever is our subject complement because it describes our subject who is Paolo. I am lonely. I is our subject. An is our linking verb. And lonely is our subject complement. 
In this sentence, he seems happy. Our subject is he. The linking verb is seems. And subject complement is happy. To test your understanding about our lesson, I prepared a short activity. Directions. Read each sentence with comprehension. Identify the patterns used in each sentence. Number one. She seems disturbed. She is our subject. Seems is a linking verb and disturbed is a subject complement. Therefore, the pattern of this sentence is S L V S C. Number two, Linda speaks. Linda is our subject, speaks is our verb. So the answer is S V. Number three. Francisco plays volleyball. Our subject is Francisco. The verb is plays and volleyball is the direct object. So the answer is S V D O. The fourth one, the manager leads the investors in a meeting. The manager is our subject. Leads is the verb. The investors is our indirect object. And in a meeting is our direct object. So, the answer is S. V I O D O The last one number 5 The association elected him as the new chairman The association is our subject elected is our verb him is our indirect object and the new chairman is our direct object. So this sentence follows the S-V-I-O-D-O -O pattern.